Hi everyone, this is Nurse Anna from NurseStudy.net. I'm a little congested today. It always happens right after I work. I always catch these little bugs. It's fine. I'm drinking my water. Um, today I want to uh, talk to you about uh, pneumonia and that we did a concept map for you and it's free. There's going to be a link in the description below for you to be able to download this. Um, also in the links below I have uh, NurseStudy.net, the articles that will usually match up to this. Um, and even some test questions. I'm trying to kind of do nursing care plan, uh, nursing diagnosis, and concept map, and test questions so that we can kind of get, you know, a, a good grasp of whatever the topic is. So that's going to be the new format. Um, so today we're going to be looking at a pneumonia concept map. And again, uh, you can download this for free. The link is down below. Um, and we're going to go into the pathophysiology of it. Um, basically, it's inflammation infection of the alveoli. Um, common pathogens include bacteria, so streptococcus, pneumonia, viruses, and even fungi. Uh, fluid and pus will fill the alveoli, reducing oxygen exchange. And so basically, this concept map, we're going to be going from here this way. So hopefully I can highlight my mouse and show you. The next thing we're going to talk about are the signs and symptoms. So we're going to have, uh, you can have a cough which is productive or dry. Um, so don't be fooled up as a dry cough. So you could actually have a productive cough. And usually you'll see yellowish, yellow-green phlegm. If it's clear, it's usually thought to be viral. Um, it really depends on the healthcare provider. But even a dry cough can fool people. They're like, oh, it's dry. It's got to be something else. No, oh, it could be pneumonia. Fever and chills. And of course, you're going to treat that with Tylenol. Um, and other antipyretics, uh, shortness of breath, chest pain, especially when breathing or coughing. So when you're, they're coughing, they can sometimes get a chest pain associated with that cough. And fatigue, it's just that, you know, their alveoli is filled with pus. It, it's just kind of hard to do the exchange down there. Diagnosis is usually made by lab tests. So we're going to do blood cultures um, and follow your uh, facilities protocol on that. Um, on your blood cultures, sputum analysis, a complete blood count. Actually, they'll probably just do a rainbow, but a CBC will be in there, and you're going to be looking at a white count especially. Uh, arterial blood, blood gases. Um, imaging, you're going to do a chest x-ray. Sometimes they may do a CT scan. Not done a lot if it's obvious on the chest x-ray, but sometimes the healthcare provider will say, well, the x-ray looks... Eh. They will do a CT scan. It can happen. It doesn't happen a lot, but it does happen. Those that are at risk, well, we have age, so the very young or elderly, uh, those who smoke especially, chronic lung diseases like asthma and COPD, immunocompromised status, it says states here, status, um, recent respiratory infections. So they haven't really gotten full recovery and then they catch another bug. So nursing implications. So these are things we need to kind of look for. So we're looking for respiratory failure, potential for sepsis, acute respiratory distress syndrome, also known as ARDS, um, and pleural effusions. And I will, I will be doing videos on all of this too and test questions and concept maps for you. Um, treatments. Uh, we'll do antibiotics for bacterial infections, bacterial pneumonia, antivirals for viral pneumonias, antipyretics for the fever, oxygen therapy, and fluid management. So if you give some fluid, a lot of times you can thin the secretions. You just have to make sure that they're not on any kind of fluid restrictions. So make sure you, you check their diets and, you know, any restrictions that they may have. So uh, common nursing diagnosis are ineffective airway clearance related to increased secretions and bronchial inflammation, impaired gas exchange related to altered oxygenation supply and alveolar capillary membrane changes. Again, those alveoli are filling with fluid and um, they are coughing it out, but it is impeding that gas exchange. Some nursing interventions uh, would be assess the respiratory status regularly, administer medications as prescribed. And here we're talking about the antibiotics, um, antipyretics, uh, encourage coughing and deep breathing exercises. We want to get some of that phlegm out. 
Um, sometimes we can even percuss the back if they're, if they can tolerate something like that. Um, I know that when my, my husband had it, he took like really warm showers to get the steam going so that he could cough everything out a lot easier. Uh, position for maximum ventilation, you know, uh, semi fowlers would probably be the best that way. They're not, you know, gurgling or anything like that. So semi fowlers is the best. Um, and hydration, like we mentioned this hydration to then the secretions, uh, patient education would be importance of completing the medication courses. And the reason this is important is because, you know, people start to feel better. And I'm sure you've heard this in all your classes. Uh, they start the antibiotics and usually probably after about two days, they start to feel better and okay, I don't need to take these antibiotics anymore. This happens with urinary tract infections also. Um, and what happens is they stop taking the antibiotics and the infection really wasn't quite uh, gone yet. And so what happens is it starts to come back and then you have like these little super bugs that come back this time um, because you didn't really get rid of all of the bacteria the first time. Um, so techniques for coughing and deep breathing. So, you know, the, uh, some people do humidifiers or whatever to start trying to cough stuff up easier. Um, deep breathing is important because you want to start to expand the alveoli. Smoking cessation advice. Um, so some, some facilities will go ahead and they'll prescribe like nicotine patches or something to help with that. But, you know, getting, uh, helping patients understand the dangers of smoking secondhand smoke is best. Um, you do it in a gentle way so that they, um, they don't push back. <laughs> so, you know, let them know and, you know, be gentle with this advice. Uh, importance of rest and fluid intake. Again, if, as long as they're not on any kind of fluid restriction, you do want them to have, um, uh, rest so that their body can kind of rejuvenate. And if they can tolerate, you know, an increased fluid intake to thin those secretions, that would be best. Um, and they also need to know when to seek medical attention. And if they have a family member, you really should also be educating the family members too, because if this person's oxygen saturation is dropping, they're not having a lot of exchange in the lungs, they're probably not going to be thinking clearly and, or, um, they'll be, you know, I'm fine. I don't need to go to the hospital, but they don't look good at all. So it's really important to involve the family members in this education. Um, and it just kind of helps, you know, um, everyone in the family kind of be um, on the same uh, level with doing care. So if you want to learn more about pneumonia, you could go to my website, nursestudy.net, and then in the search box, because we have over a thousand nursing diagnosis and care plans in here, just type in pneumonia and it should come up for you. And um, when you scroll down, um, you'll basically have, you know, a more complete picture of it. So you'll have signs and symptoms, subjective, objective, related risk factors. Um, and then you'll also have more nursing interventions, desired outcomes, and probably the, the, the main five nursing diagnosis for pneumonia care plans. So that's about it. Um, I hope you guys have a really good weekend. This is Anna from nursestudy.net and thanks for joining. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And if you want your free concept, and if you want your free concept map, go ahead. There's a link down below in the description um, so that it will go ahead and just go right to your email. I hope you guys have a great day.